Good morning, Bulldog fans, and welcome to UNC Asheville Bulldog Update. Hi, I'm Mike Gore, along with the head men's basketball coach, Nick McDevitt. Coach, just one game to talk about this week, and what a game it was. UNC Asheville knocks off defending Big South Conference champion Liberty last Saturday, 75-72. Had it all the way, of course, but, uh, but a good win over a very good basketball team. That might not have a good record, but it's a good basketball team. They have a lot of talented players. Uh, they are a good basketball team. And uh, it was a very good win for us here uh, the, on Saturday in front of a, a packed, uh, packed house. There's about 2,500 folks here and uh, a good win for us. I know you'd be pleased with the crowd, Coach. I thought they really, you know, uh, when Liberty made their run and then it got to, when it got nip and tuck there in the last four or five minutes, the Bulldog faithful really, really, really came up strong and really helped the Bulldogs down the stretch. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that's, that's part of the home court advantage. And, um, you know, it's nice to be here in front of our uh, home fans and, Again, uh, we, we gave up a big lead. Liberty took uh, a two or three point lead there late. And uh, the, this, this crowd really ra rallied behind our team and it helped us over the low, those last three or four minutes. You talk about that, Coach, but to me that's one of the impressive things about this victory is, is you were up 19, shot the ball very, very well, and Liberty really played well. Maybe I talked to some folks from Liberty after maybe their best stretch of the season, and that lead was gone just like that. It was gone on like over a 10-minute stretch, went from plus 19 to minus 3. Very easy for a young team like Asheville to just kind of throw up their hands and, and just be frustrated and stuff with it, but, but they kept grinding, grinding, kept it a close game, and then made the plays down the stretch. Could have made a few more free throws to make things a little bit but easier and stuff, but made key plays down the stretch after giving that lead to win the ball game, and that's good to see. It was. Uh, we've we've faced adversity. It seems like since the beginning of the season, uh, for one reason or another, uh, it's been injuries or sickness or uh, you know a tough schedule to start off with. Uh, those eight games on the road. Uh, just a lot of adverse situations this year, and that one we somewhat brought on ourselves. Uh, but when you give up a 19-point lead and fall behind, uh, it's really easy to kind of you know fold up the tents and and go home with a loss. But uh, I thought our team stayed tough and uh, continued to battle back with uh, obviously the help of the crowd a little bit, and uh, we made some plays there late. And on the flip side, though, uh, also would have been very easy for Liberty to give up. Uh, I know Coach Layer has to be proud of his team's effort as well. Uh, when you're down 20 on the road uh, in the second half, it's easily it's it's easy to give up and and go home with a loss there as well. So both teams uh, had to face a little bit of adversity and. Uh, uh, fortunately, we were uh, able to come out on the winning end. They've had a tough year, Coach, but they had a tough year last year, and certainly in, a, in that final week in the in the Big South Conference tournament, they sure proved how well they could play, and they'll still be a team to watch out for come March, won't they? Definitely. They've got a lot of very talented players, got a lot of size. They rebound the ball extremely well. Uh, the, for those that were here, those folks that watched it on television this past weekend, uh, they've got a, a particular young man in Andrew Smith who's 6'9", extremely athletic, uh, dunks the ball, blocks shots very, very easily. And uh, when you've got that kind of size along with two good guards in Devon Marshall and J.C. Sanders, you're going to be in a lot of ball games. And the key at this point in the year is just continue to get better. And that's what we keep preaching to our team. We've got to get better so that uh, we're ready when March comes around. All right, Coach, let's look at the happy highlights of UNC Asheville's 75-72 victory against the Flames. As Nick talked about, we had a great crowd on hand, more than 2,500 cheering the Bulldogs on, and Andrew gets the Bulldogs off to a good start. He did. Uh, we shot the ball extremely well, particularly from deep, as uh, you'll see in a lot of these game highlights. Uh, made a lot of shots from behind the arc. I thought our guys did a nice job of sharing the basketball here. You see Corey Littlejohn with a great pass to David Robertson in transition. And that's something that uh, we, we're continuing to preach and get better at is uh, being able to score in transition. And uh, our team is doing a nice job of sharing the basketball. Nine of 13 in the first half of the Bulldogs from, from, the, from downtown. Have to go back almost 10 years to UNC Asheville against Western Carolina to shoot, uh, at the Asheville Civic Center to, with a shooting percentage like that and a half. And the Bulldogs do a nice job. Here's Andrew, I think, ended a half here, Coach. It was a big play. Uh, that was uh, a play that Pushed the lead from 10 to 13 right before the, the buzzer at halftime. And uh, Andrew came out in the second half and made a, another early shot that pushed the lead close to 20 and uh, before Liberty's run. There's DJ up a nice pass from Andrew Rousey. Rousey had 23, had a career-high seven assists in the game. And here's Jerron scoring. And the Bulldogs are up 19 at this point. But Liberty, Liberty made a great run and really controlled the game offensively and defense but to take a three-point lead. But there's Jerron scoring a field goal. Career high 29 for him. You know, uh, another case of a fifth year senior, very talented player, Jerron Lane, stepping up, 
uh, when his team needed him to. And he certainly made some big baskets down the stretch. That was a big basket there by Andrew Rousey on a steal and a two. Uh, but uh, late, Jerron Lane really made some uh, big plays on the offensive end. And uh, we were fortunate to, to win that game. But again, I, I was proud of our team's effort, uh, our attitude, uh, in how we faced uh, adversity as a group, and uh, nice win for us. 29 points for Jerona, career high, and Andrew Rousey, as we saw on that play, you know, he had just shot an air ball. They, they played really good defense. You know, he I, think, I think Andrew might have gotten a little confused with the shot clock. He put up a shot that, uh, that was well short, and instead of pouting about it, he saw a chance for a steal, surprised Liberty, got the steal, and tied the game. Huge, huge play. Huge play, and that's uh, something that uh, we've continued to work on all year is always focusing on the next play. Uh, we talk about that in practice, we talk about it in games. Even when mistakes are made, it's always about the next play. And uh, our, our, our young men aren't hanging their heads when they make mistakes. Nobody, you're just not going to play a perfect game. Uh, I, I've never seen a, a perfect game played by a player or by a team. And so it's always about uh, keeping your attitude there, your effort there, and uh, it's on to the next play. Andrew did it in that particular play with the steal and a putback. And uh, Corey Littlejohn made a huge, huge play late in that game with, uh, after missing a free throw that could have extended the lead, uh, could have hung his head, but came up with a big charge on the opposite end, on the defensive end that uh, helped win that game. And Coach, uh, we turn our attention now tonight. Uh, we, 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 we go down to Clinton, South Carolina to take on Presbyterian College as a busy week uh, for the Bulldogs commences and uh, the Blue Hose team that struggled this year, a team that's not very deep, but uh, but they've played people very tough at home this year. This is not an automatic win by any stretch of the imagination. This is a team that plays well at home that really hasn't been blown out of games. And like that, they've been in games and stuff. They just can't quite finish them, but this is a dangerous game tonight against PC. Uh, Coach Nybert does a nice job with this team. Uh, they, they do a nice job of controlling pace. Uh, you never get into an up and down game with Presbyterian. They, they're always going to try to keep the possession count low. So because of that, a lot of times the score is close. Uh, you're just not going to see very often uh, the, the 90 to 65 blowouts. It's, it's uh, sometimes a, a, a blowout win or a blowout loss with, uh, with Presbyterian's mid-60s to mid-50s. And, uh, but they've got some very talented pieces. Um, Jordan Downing is one of the better scorers in our league, and Reggie Dillard is one of the, you know, the top freshmen in our league, both young men uh, averaging the double figures. So um, we'll certainly have to key in on those two this weekend. Always been a tough game down there. Bulldogs have had some success there, but I think a last year's game that went back and forth and back and forth, and basically the Bulldogs had the ball last and went up one, and then, the, and then, then they had a costly turnover, and kind of an unforced turnover, and the Bulldogs were able to, to survive down there, but it's always been a tough game down there, hasn't it been, Coach? It is. It is. Uh, you know, they're a tough, hard-nosed team. They, they coach that way. They recruit that way. Their team uh, reflects uh, really the personality of their coaching staff, and uh, it, it's always a tough game down there. There are no gimmies in conference play, whether you're on, at home or on the road, and uh, this one will be no different. We'll have to go down there and play well. All right, Coach, good luck tonight. And uh, down in Clinton, UNC Ashland Presbyterian College will be on ESPN3 and everything. So, uh, again, Coach, good luck, and we'll see you down in Clinton. Sounds great. Thanks, Mike. All right, back with more UNC Ashland Bulldog Update right after this timeout. You sometimes take the long route just to see what you might discover. If you enjoy finding the art in science and the science in art. If you want to design a career and not just find a job. If you won't give up until you figure it out, then we have just the place for you. University of North Carolina, Asheville. There's a place where past vacation memories are talked about and shared for a lifetime, where new experiences never disappoint, and where the only thing better than visiting is coming back again. Visit Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. 60 miles of picture-perfect beach line will take your breath away, but leave your wallet happy because you shouldn't have to sacrifice on your family vacation. Visit Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Experience so much more for so much less. And leave with memories to last a lifetime. Welcome back to UNC Asheville Boulder Update, joined by head women's basketball coach Brenda Mock Kirkpatrick. And coach, we missed you last week, but Paige Love did a great job uh, for us and everything. You played last Saturday at Winthrop, the team that's leading the Big South Conference. 
slow start, great run, just couldn't quite get over the hump against a good team. Well, Mike, you know, as we were discussing, we held Winthrop to 20, 22 points in the second half, and I can't ask the girls for a better defensive effort. And like you said, we couldn't put it in the basket. You know, we had some great opportunities there and uh, just couldn't put the ball in the basket. And we didn't play a perfect game otherwise, but I really felt like we were giving ourselves opportunities, really holding them. I mean, that's one of the best scoring teams in the league and really poses, you know, tremendous threats on offense with Dequisha McClanahan, the preseason player of the year, and Erica Williams, who is also making herself a case for rookie of the year in our conference this season. So we were holding them in check in the second half, and you've got to score. You know, we've right. got to be able to convert on the offensive end, and I thought they did a good job of, of holding us as well. All right, because let's look at the highlights at the, at the Winthrop Coliseum, UNC Asheville taking on the Lady Eagles. and. Winthrop had beat the Bulldogs by 19 earlier this year at, um, at Kimmel Arena, and there's Jeannie Buckner getting you, getting you three points. Yeah, Jeannie's really effective from the corner, and we really were trying to establish ourselves on the interior. You see we're going in there to K.J. Weaver. We were trying to go to Leah Warmack early. You know, that's one of Paige. I believe she had three threes in the first half. That, those buckets were really valuable to us, and here's her second one. So she's scoring really from all areas in transition from behind the arc. She's leading us in three-point field goal percentage. And Jada Brayboy, that was a key bucket right there because she also got a foul on Dequisha McClanahan. And we did a good job of getting them in foul trouble. You know, there's Shanice Jones. That, that was her two points there. And um, you know, hopefully she'll come back today with a better shooting effort. And there again, <laughs> Paige Love for three really carried us in the first half offensively. And Brittany is really effective when she's taking her time and, and being composed there. Now that one, uh, you know, that'll make up for some of the other misses there. <laughs> Banks open, Paige Love. <laughs> yeah, but we're best when we're really aggressive to the basket, Mike. And, and that there again, Paige Love and getting baskets in transition. You see Tiana taking contact there. And, you know, we're really being aggressive and made a nice run in the second half. We were down 11 at halftime, you know, and at Winthrop. League leading Winthrop, that's, that's a tough place to come back. And, and we were within two, um, 50 to 48. Had some chances to tie it or uh, even to even take the lead. Just uh, as we said, Coach, just couldn't quite get that, just couldn't, just couldn't get that tying or, or go ahead bucket. You know, the first time we played Winthrop, I think that the point differential was around 19 points. Obviously, they are seven points. And, you know, that's no consolation. We want to get those wins. And that's what we're preaching to our team. And, and they want them as well. They're, they're understanding what they're capable of now and that how special this group is when everyone comes to play. And uh, so I think that that gave them even a little bit more confidence to go there and not play perfectly, but give ourselves an opportunity yet and still to win the game. So, you know, we've got to carry that forward into this last stretch, starting with Longwood today, who's going to bring a challenge in. You know, we, we, we had a, won a close game at their place, but it's going to be a challenge today. But a fast-paced fast, fast -paced game, and it should be entertaining for our fans. And it should be, uh, it should be, it should be a great day because it's, it's, it's our paint game coach, and, uh, and, of course, you're wearing a beautiful shirt that people can buy today to help, um, uh, to help support uh, breast cancer awareness and also help, uh, help, help with UNC Asheville student athlete scholarships. It should be a great day, shouldn't it, with this pink game? It really should, and it's more than just a game. It's going to be quite an event starting here in about an hour, you know, where um, ticket holders can come in and, um, you know, walk around the concourse and there's going to be several vendors here you know i know belk and sophie magazine are sponsors our lead sponsors for this event but i believe the first 500 Correct. um are going going to be given an estee lauder gift pack so that's you know in itself i think it's about fifty dollars worth of makeup and and good so good for the guys um <laughs> i don't know how appealing that will be to you fellas but bring your wife uh bring a girlfriend you know bring someone um because this is really going to be a great event and then after the game there's a wine and cheese social and then there's going to be a fashion show which features some Asheville celebrities and then also some student athletes. So really a great day of women's basketball and for a great cause, just like you said, Mike. Uh, you know, for this is going to go, the funds raised from this event are going to go to women in our community right, who exactly. are suffering from breast cancer. It should be a great day. And, of course, it ends with the, uh, uh, with the auction for the, uh, uh, the one-year lease for the How Volkswagen Jetta. How could I forget Jetta, that? Jetta, which, which should be great and stuff. So it should be just a great day. And uh, also I understand uh, prior to it, uh, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is doing 
donating, I think, 2,000 wings and everything like that for people to for people to eat wings. So that should be exciting. So that's for the fellas right there. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? 2,000 wings. So wings, you know, fashion show, wine and cheese. It's going to be a great day, but hopefully a good day for the Bulldogs to get a win over Longwood. Longwood has been all up and down this year with injuries, and that was a great win over them earlier this year and stuff. I'm sure you expect a tough game with them today. Absolutely. Daisha Brown, their point guard, and you'll see her today. She's one of the most dynamic guards in the league at attacking the basket, and they have a great shooter in Raven Brown, and, and they always pack a punch. You know, it's always an exciting game with them. It's pressure. They play a lot of man-to-man -man defense. So, again, I think it'll be an exciting uh, game and just a great game for this particular event today. All right, Coach, thanks so much. We'll see you at Camel Arena in a, in a couple minutes. Sounds great, Mike. All right, that's UNC Asheville head women's basketball coach Brenda Mockley Patrick back with more UNC Asheville Bulldog update right after this timeout. On Saturday, February 15th, Asheville will experience the power of women coming together to make a difference. The UNC Asheville Athletic Department will host the Pink Game, a women's expo and fashion show fundraising event to benefit women in our community who are suffering from breast cancer and also to help raise funds for female student athlete scholarships. Come and enjoy a two hour shopping spree, receive free gifts and discount coupons from Asheville's leading retailers, sponsored by Belk and Sophie Magazine. Then watch the UNC Asheville women's basketball team take on Longwood University. After the game, enjoy the wine and cheese social with your friends. And then experience a runway fashion show featuring Asheville celebrities. The day will end with an auction of a one year lease of a Volkswagen Jetta provided by Harmony Motors. The bidding starting at $1. Admission is $25 for all activities. Tickets available by calling 828-258-7900 or order online at uncabulldogs.com. Welcome back to UNC Asheville Bulldog Update. Joined by Aaron Sanders, Director of Athletics Annual Giving here at UNC Asheville. And Aaron, UNC Asheville had an exciting uh, raffle last year, and we're going to have, a, have an even a different one this year that's sound, it's going to be even more exciting, isn't it? It is, Mike. Um, you know, last year was a great raffle. We, we gave away a car. Uh, the winners took a cash equivalent, but this year uh, it, we're changing it up a little bit. It is the Dream Getaway Scholarship Raffle, and we have three great prizes to the uh, top three winners to award this year. Um, Tell us about all the prizes. Well, uh, first prize is an Alaskan cruise. It's a seven-day cruise with airfare included. Uh, second prize will be a five-day trip to a Sandals resort with uh, airfare as well. And then third prize is a New York City trip for three days. Now, when is this and how much will it be? Well, the drawing will be Monday, uh, April 7th, and we'll have a reception drawing just like last year. Uh, each ticket is $50 each, and with every ticket you purchase, that gets you one entrance into the reception drawing. And we'll have uh, refreshments, food, uh, beverages, and we'll also be giving away other prizes that evening uh, as part of the drawing. That should be, you know, that was so exciting last year, and a lot of great prizes were given besides the $30,000 or the car. What other kind of prizes can, can people possibly get if they come to the event? Well, uh, you know, we will we'll be announcing some of the prizes as we get a little bit closer, but last year we had some art from some great local artists. We had some fantastic restaurants who stepped up and uh, donated some uh, meals and gift certificates. Uh, we had a spa day, uh, a piece of jewelry. Uh, so there were uh, a number of great and ver a variety of items that people could have win. So we expect pretty much the same type of uh, some prizes this year as well. And all this money where does it go to? It goes to scholarships. Uh, this is one of our biggest fundraising events of the year, uh, along with the golf tournament, but uh, this money goes directly to help support our student athletes with their scholarships. Now, if I want to buy a ticket, how can I go about doing it right now? Well, I'd be happy to sell you one, but uh, <laughs> there's a couple of ways you can buy them. Uh, all of our BAA board members are selling them. Uh, you can purchase them here at the arena for men's and women's basketball games. We have a table set up. Uh, you can also call 258-7900 and buy one from the box office. And, of course, go online to uncabulldogs.com. All right, Aaron, thanks so much for stopping on by. That's Aaron Sanders, UNC Asheville's Director of Athletic Annual Giving. Back with more UNC Asheville Building Update right after this timeout.
guys are doing a heck of a job. And don't forget, we got the Big South Championships coming up, and we're all gonna head to Myrtle Beach! Road trip! Come on! Rock the beat. Miss Myrtle Beach Madness. Make your plans now to attend the Big South Basketball Championships March 4 through 9. Everything you need is at visitmyrtlebeach.com slash Big South. See you at the beach. Building block. I am. I am a building I am block. I am a building block in the foundation of UNC Asheville baseball. I know all my hard work. I know all my, I know all my hard work. I know all of my hard work will not only, make, work, will not only, not make, only me make me better, but make my teammates better. Make us better. The future of the program will be built on my shoulders. The future of the future of the program will be built on my shoulders. And together, together we will achieve success. Together we will achieve success. And together we will achieve success. 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 She is an elusive prize, a prize many admire and many want. Success is also a journey, a process, a pursuit. Success is a choice, the choice to reject the naysayers, the doubters, the haters, the ones who will relish in your failure. The journey to success starts with one, one step, one person, one choice. And the choice to start the journey comes from within. Bases full of bulldogs. Deep within the mind, the heart, the soul. Swing and a drive, deep to left. Come on. Come on. This ball is way bad. Get out of here. Home run, UNC Asheville. Boy, this bulldog run will not quit. One step becomes two, one person becomes two people. One choice becomes two choices, two becomes many, many steps, many people, many choices, and so the journey begins. On this journey, I understand there are no shortcuts. On this journey, I understand this journey. I understand there are no shortcuts. And if I'm going to reach my goals, if I'm going to reach my goals, if we are going to reach our goals, I must be willing to work, yeah. to work, to work, we must be willing to work, to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to sacrifice, to invest in the program, to invest in the program, to invest in the program, to invest in the program. I do that with my time, my time, my time, we do that with our time, my all out effort. Our all-out effort. My sweat. My sweat. My sweat. Our sweat. From point A to point B. From the bottom to the top. From startup team to champion. It sounds easy, but it's not. And here's the thing. You don't want easy. Because you know all the things in life worth doing are worth doing right. Now, there will be obstacles in your way. There will be challenges to overcome. There will be mountains to climb because your goals are high. As high as the mountains that surround your school. And quitting? Now that's a choice, but not for you. Here we go. Remember, you are a bulldog, and you are invested in all things Asheville baseball. So what's another round of BP, some extra drills, more ground balls, more fly balls, the extra sprints, the additional conditioning? Those are all the tools you can use along the journey to reach your goal. Your goal of success. Five years from now. Ten years from now. 
20 years from now when I look back at my time on the Asheville baseball team. I will know I gave it my all. And I was there at the start. A piece of the foundation. And I was a brick in building the new stadium. And I was an important ingredient in creating a new era of Asheville baseball. And we were a part of starting a new era of Asheville baseball. I am a brick. On Saturday, February 15th, Asheville will experience the power of women coming together to make a difference. The UNC Asheville Athletic Department will host the Pink Game, a women's expo and fashion show fundraising event to benefit women in our community who are suffering from breast cancer, and also to help raise funds for female student athlete scholarships. Come and enjoy a two hour shopping spree, receive free gifts and discount coupons from Asheville's leading retailers, sponsored by Belk and Sophie Magazine. Then watch the UNC Asheville women's basketball team take on Longwood University. After the game, enjoy the wine and cheese social with your friends. And then experience a runway fashion show featuring Asheville celebrities. The day will end with an auction of a one-year lease of a Volkswagen Jetta provided by Harmony Motors. The bidding starting at $1. Admission is $25 for all activities. Tickets available by calling 828-258-7900 or order online at uncabulldogs.com. That's going to do it for this week's edition of UNC Asheville Bulldog Update. Here's what's happening this week in Bulldog Athletics. We'll see you next Saturday.